In this problem, we're told in a certain track and field event, the shot put has a mass of 7.3 kilograms and is released with a speed of 15 meters per second at a 40 degree incline above the horizontal over a competitor's straight left leg. What are the initial horizontal and vertical components of the momentum of this shot put? So let's go ahead and draw what's going on here. So imagine we have this object here. It's going to travel like this. Imagine this right here is our uh, horizontal, right? And so it's going to be 40 degrees above it. So it's 40 degrees above this, and it's going to be traveling uh, 15 meters per second, right? And so its mass is going to be 7.3 kilograms. So we have the shot put. It's going to travel uh, like this, right? And so what we're trying to do is find the initial horizontal and vertical components uh, of the momentum, right? And so momentum, the formula for it is mv. So momentum is equal to mass times velocity. Right? So we're trying to find the horizontal and vertical components, meaning uh, right now we just have like this, this vector, right? But we want to find the x and y or the, yeah, the x and y components of it in order to solve this, right? Because what we're going to do is just find the momentum in the x, right, and the momentum in the y. And we do that just by taking the mass of the thing, which is going to be the same in both. But then we multiply by the velocity in the x and then multiply by the velocity in the y, right? So we need to find these. So how do we do it? So you should know how to do this, but I'll go over it again. But cosine... Right, we know the cosine of an angle, uh, which is in this case is 40, is going to be equal to adjacent over hypotenuse, right? So Katoa. So it's going to be the adjacent, which I labeled x in this case, over the hypotenuse, which is 15. Right? And if we want to solve for x, we can just multiply both sides by 15. So x is going to be 15 times the cosine of 40. Right? So this is what the velocity in the x direction is, right? Because this was the velocity. Uh, so we just do the mass, which is 7.3, multiplied by the velocity in the x, which is what we just solved for. Right, which is just, I'm not going to multiply it out yet, but it's just 15 times the cosine of 40. Now let's do the y, so v sub y. So we know the sine of an angle, right, in this case it's 40, is equal to sine is opposite over hypotenuse. So the opposite I label the y, and then it's going to be over the hypotenuse, which is 15. Right, and if we multiply both sides by 15, 15 times the sine of 40 is equal to y. Right, so v sub y uh, is... 15 times the sine of 40, meaning we can just plug in 7.3 and then 15 times the sine of 40, right? If you go ahead and do this, you're going to get piece of x and piece of y, right? Which is the momentum in the y and the momentum in the x. So what you want to do is just go ahead and do this, right? So uh, let me actually just plug in my calculator. So 7.3 and then multiply that by 15 times the cosine of 40. And if you go ahead and do this, Right, you're gonna get this one piece of x is gonna be about 83.88, and then it's gonna be kilogram meters kilogram meters per second, right? Because notice this is in kilograms, this is in meters per second. And make sure when you plug it in your calculator, you're in degrees, because this is in degrees, 40 degrees. Uh they could uh right, because it could be in we could have converted it to radians and then put it in radians in our calculator, but make sure when you do that, it's in degrees, or you'll get a wrong answer. Uh, but p sub y, so if you go ahead and do this 7.3 times 15 times the sine of 40, uh, you're going to get 70, or about 70.39. And then same units, kilogram meters per second. Right, so this is going to be the initial, right, because keep in mind this is just the initial speed it's released with this. So this is going to be uh, the initial horizontal uh, vertical, this is the horizontal component, this is the horizontal, this is vertical, right, components of the momentum. But yeah, so these are your two answers, and uh, hopefully you found this useful.